hi love welcome back to my channel i am going to demonstrate how to make this flower braid i think i am now a pro at it i have illustrations in three different steps that are going to show you what i am doing so first i go ahead to select the middle of where i want my flower to be then make five patterns because i want five flower petals on this flower I will go ahead and make five patterns from that point five lines down let the lines be around two inches long or a little bit over two inches long so look at my illustrations if you cannot understand what I am doing because this hair I am working on is really thick and you might not be able to see the whole lines so but look at the illustration you understand what I am doing so I chose a center point and parted the hair into five equal sections now for the second illustration I am going to start making a curve for each petal from the line between two of those patterns the illustration is going to really show you very well what I mean if you cannot understand from the hair I am making so as you can see from one line I curve on the left side and the right side of each line so to make a flower the line you see is the middle of each petal so look at the illustration please in between part the first and second section I make a flower so please just look at the illustration down if you're a little bit confused so that you will understand what I am saying first we made five lines and each of those lines is the center of a petal now we are going to carve out the right hand side of the flower and the left hand side of the flower from each of the sections. So section 1 and 2 are going to contribute to petal 1. Section 2 and 3 are going to contribute to petal 2. Try to curve your line. When you're making out the contribution from each section, Try to make it like a little bit more like a C rather than a straight line so that you will have a robust curved flower. I already filmed a video of my first attempt of making this flower design but I made the line too long and I didn't curve this C into a C so much. So you just need to watch that video first you will come across mistakes that you might make on your first attempt in that video this video is my second attempt and I didn't mention I am not going to go into all the mistakes that I made or that I experienced in the first time I made the flower if you look at that flower I made it looked thin and long so please just watch that look at how thick this hair is i knew you might not be able to figure out what i was doing because i couldn't position my camera to be directly over the head of my client so that is why i decided to use this illustration the drawings down it is showing you exactly what i am doing at each stage so when you have made the C curves on the two sides of each line, you just braid it that way. Try to taper and try to taper the end of your flower to be kind of pointy because it makes it look more it makes it look cuter. <laughs> yeah, just taper the end of your your flower to be pointy if you can. But when you're braiding ignore that pointy tip and just braid go down curve and go up don't try to braid your braid to be pointy it won't make any sense and it will just frustrate you i thought of doing that before but it doesn't matter as far as your braid come down and go up the pointiness of your flower is going to be obvious so don't bother yourself with 
that if you try to get that perfection you're going to drive yourself crazy and it is unnecessary so as i braid as you can see because her hair is really thick although i moisturize it it's a living what i am spraying on her hair is a living conditioner water and coconut oil just to soften it as i go along so i do that intermittently as the hair dries up okay we have one more illustration to go please keep watching i have several other hair styling videos on my channel hair styling diys to i make videos on lifestyle on femininity and youtube tips and tricks look at my client she didn't know that my camera was seeing her trying to figure out what i was doing on her hair with the way i was making those lines and just making lines all over the place it took me like let's say 20 minutes to get the pattern down without actually braiding the hair so you can imagine sitting down for 20 minutes without your stylist actually making any braids and just making patterns and patterns and okay now it's easier because most people section off the whole head before they start braiding but it is still strange here kind of that's not the way it is done over here in nigeria so until of recent let me put it that way until of recent we section and braid as we go we section and braid so i guess that was why she was touching her head she just didn't understand what i was doing but at least when i was done she was she loved her hair she loves her hair up till now and people just admire the flowers <laughs> the flower whereas that first braid i made if you are not way taller than the girl to look at her head from the center you will not even know that it is a flower i feel so bad for her <laughs> but i promised her when she loses that hair i'm going to make another design on her hair and she was just my my practice <laughs> okay going back to the hair another challenge you might experience is that the center of the flower might start spreading out kind of and you need it to be like at the point what i did was when i was making one of the petals when i got to the middle i use a crochet hook to pass it underneath two two of the lines that already crossed the, the, the center before braiding it back and drew it i used it to like drag two of the hair to form like a closer knot okay watch that's what i am doing here I passed the tail of a braid underneath two braids that were supposed to form a point but they ran parallel to each other across the center so I passed a braid underneath them and dragged it and before reversing like I reversed underneath them to pull both of them together before I continued braiding so it made the center of my flower look more like center when i was done completely i used a crochet hook to keep passing the tail of my braid in the middle to form like a knot in the center if you want to take down this flower you have to fumble with the middle of the braid the flower to pull out the tail of the hair i didn't continue this flower braid if you watch the first video i did once I was done with making all the petals, I incorporated the tail of the braid into like a regular braid that ran down the hair. But this time around, I wanted it to contribute to making the center of the hair look like a knot. So I just crochet it into the onto the middle there. I just kept on putting it in and putting it in until it was done. And now for the last section. The last illustration try to continue the line when you start making your normal braids in order to make this flower look a little bit more nicer try to continue the line from each section to run down so that line in the middle of each petal let the line continue let it form let it be between two braids okay look at my illustration i have my first section and the second section that line in the middle of each petal should run down straight across you can see it on my left hand side where i am braiding the center line from the hair runs down 
to the back of her, her neck. Then the braid, a braid is on each side. It will just make your your petal look as if it tapers or flows down, kind of. It makes it look more flowy, more balanced. So I don't. You should not start a braid where the the in the middle of a petal. Don't start a braid. Don't make a braid fall in the middle of a petal. Instead, let there be a pattern in the middle of the petal. That line is going to help the petal look as if it cas cascades down further. Look at my illustration to understand what I am saying. So I have the center line of the pattern. It's almost as if I initially made the line from the center point of the flower all the way to the back of her neck. Do you understand? Let a line run all the way down. The only thing in between is the braid that curves upwards. From this side I have done, you can see what I mean. It just makes the flower, especially if you manage to taper it very well, like the two you can see directly in front of you. The first one, the, the petal isn't so tapered, but the second one to your left at the moment is a little bit tapered and then flows into the line in between those two braids. I hope by now you understand what I mean, but if you try this flower, design more than once you will tend to keep getting better and this is an observation i got from this second time so if you can understand what i am saying it will help you just make it look as if the line is continuous so i decided to add a little because she cannot see this flower i just wanted it to be a little bit more exciting for her so i did the rubber band section now I have two sections of braid that I'm supposed to take down but instead I her hair is already detangled before I comb through. Please don't try to detangle your hair with a, a rat to rat tail comb. So I decide to make rubber bands pattern on the first line. Instead of making two braids last, I did the rubber band section in the first one and then braided it into the second one just to make it more interesting from her face. Because I could see she was so curious and she of course cannot see the flower. So I just wanted to add a little bit more interest to the hair. So I did the rubber band section all the way down and then I braided the hair through the rest of the I incorporated the rubber band to the next section and just braided it down you will see what I mean let's give it a few seconds so guys take this time to please subscribe if you like what you see I make new videos at least twice every week i have another video coming up after this year i am going to demonstrate how i convert my normal youtube videos into youtube shots if you have a youtube channel and you are a small youtuber and you have not hopped on youtube shots you are you're sleeping on it you should it helps you grow your subscribers faster I'm going to make a video on that and you will understand. Let's just focus on our braids for people who are not YouTubers and are not interested in all that. So at this point, I just braid the hair down and as you can see, this rubber band just made it a little bit more firm because of her age. So this is going to be... I was worried if her hair is going to unravel because of how short the hair is but I have not seen her in the coming days and I couldn't beat this hair because it is just so short and we didn't want to use hair extensions so that is it hopefully it will not unravel like relaxed hair so for this other last remaining section I didn't want that braid to hang there because it is way tinier than this one I am making now so I just incorporated it into this one and there you go I used um, clasp <laughs> this point you know